Hi folks, uh, this is just a little uh, special recording, uh, it's not actually going out on Twitch, I'm just going to upload it to YouTube. Um, so this is the dynamic weather demo, um, so I put a uh, little weather script together as part of the um, tutorial that I did for uh, real time dynamic weather, and there's been a number of requests to actually see what it looks like actually in the game, so other than the photograph, uh, screenshots that I put in there, sorry. So, I'm just going to run this scenario, it takes about 20 minutes, uh, and you'll see the weather change from one to the other, uh, and it does it based on particular locations, so as we drive along I'll indicate when the weather's going to start changing. So let's get driving. I'm going to leave the lights off for the time being so that you can see um, so this is the difference between the lights on and lights off at the moment. So once it starts getting dark, then we can uh, you'll see the difference. So uh, we're in a 20 limit. We're actually just leaving uh, Edinburgh, Edinburgh Waverley. We're on the Edinburgh Glasgow route. We're heading uh, westbound towards Glasgow, although we're not going to Glasgow. <laughs> So we had to speed up shortly. Um, so the weather changes are actually done based on position. So it doesn't actually matter how fast I run this scenario, which is um, it can. It depends on what gameplay you want to create as to whether that's the right thing or not. So the first weather change happens at this upcoming uh, thing here at Haymarket. So I won't say anything more about it, so I'll let you watch it, but this is when the next change happens. Now a lot of these changes are actually quite sudden, uh, or they take uh, you know something like a minute to change, rather than in real life obviously it will take considerably longer. I've done that so that I can, you can more obviously see the weather changes. If you then spread them out over 10 minutes or 15 minutes, they actually become extremely subtle changes. Tunnel. That's what we need for a video. We need everyone to watch me driving through a tunnel. <laughs> this is the last one though, fortunately. So with the normal weather blueprints, what would have happened is that um, they happen based on time, so maybe at three minutes past or four minutes past it starts moving towards rain. Um, so if I had taken longer to move or less to move, then the rain would have happened at a different place, but at the same time. Here it's going to be at a different time, but at the same place. You can do it the other way around, so this script is based on the place. You can do it based on time as well, it's actually easier to do it based on time. We're just going through Haymarket. I don't know if you've noticed that there's some rain drops starting to appear on the window. Not too many, it's just sprinkling at the moment. We're about to get the 90 speed limit. That'll hurry us up to the next destination. So we just keep an eye on the weather. So I just thought I'd turn the volume of the game down a little bit, it doesn't need to be that loud. Yes, yeah, so if you keep an eye on the weather, let's just give it a quick one wipe, that's all we need at the moment. You'll notice the clouds have actually changed as well. So we've started to get some of this cloud appearing over. A 
and it's certainly starting to rain a little bit heavier now than it was before. See, I'm just needing to get to wipe the screen occasionally. So the way this scenario is timed, it's around about five minutes ish to get between each section, which just gives the weather enough time to build up to where I want it to be and settle down so you can uh, see what that weather looks like. should see the next waypoint coming up very shortly. I'm just staying in the cab um, just so that it's uh, you can see the, uh, the the contrasting changes as as we go through. So Edinburgh Park platform uh, is coming up now and um, that's when the rain is going to sorry that's when the weather is going to turn darker. So the sequence is starts raining but light rain dark uh, light rain but with dark and heavy heavy clouds and then the third sequence then makes it rain really really badly so just coming up to Edinburgh Park platform we we'll start to see one of the more dramatic changes take place um, here as the weather takes a real turn for the worse in terms of just the environment around us so just a reminder again that's the why the lights you can see aren't making much difference at the moment So even at this point the rain's not too bad. I'm only having to wipe it every now and again. Right. So we've just gone through Edinburgh Park platform. And uh, let's see what happens now. That sky is definitely taking a turn for the worse. So I'll cut the power because we're actually going over speed. Now you'll notice it's actually getting a bit darker. So the, the clouds really are coming in now, blocking out the light. I don't know if you can see, but it looks like it's the fog is. There we go, the fog's drawing in. Now that, that came in quite suddenly and has changed a bit. That's because it's coming in quite quickly. That looks a lot better if you turn it down to sort of 10 times the delay that I've got on here. So as you can see, now we've got uh, fog that's come in. So our next waypoint is uh, Barkate Junction which is coming up and that's where we'll get our next change of weather. So the actual no, level of raindrops on the window hasn't really changed. The clouds have come in, the fog has come in, it's got darker. So if I've done the lights on it's much more obvious now what's actually happening with the lights so you actually get a benefit from having the lights on particularly. It is still the same time of day, it's just 8 minutes past 12 in the afternoon so the time of day hasn't changed. So we're nearly a Bathgate Junction. So the next change that's going to happen is relating to the level of rain that we're seeing. So I'm just going to start the wipers now. I don't know if you can uh, see that uh, this, it's getting busier and busier and busier on the window. The fog has actually come in slightly more as well. As you come across here you can really see the difference of the, uh, the visibility here. 
I'm actually only barely covering, uh, keeping up with the rain now on the windows. It's coming down so fast that it's uh, it's covering the rain. The windows back up again by the time the wipers return. We really are going through a bit of a storm here. And a little bit further down the road we'll get our next waypoint which is when the weather starts to get nice again. So the way that I handle the, uh, if you look on the tutorial, the way that we handle the weather getting nice is that we've made it blend into something which is nicer and then blend out back to the default weather so one weather change essentially gets us both um, from where we are here at the worst point to a midway point back to normal again. So this is where you'll see the fog come out, the skies will go back, it'll go back to bright, then so again you'll see the skies and the clouds clear up and the rain will um, withdraw back. One thing you can see is if you bring the weather in, it really does change the, um, the whole approach to the route. <clears throat> you get a lot more uh, closed in feeling to what's going on. It can also make the, uh, the player feel a lot more like they need to stay in the cab psychological thing where you feel like you're going to get wet if you go outside. <laughs> right, so Winchburg is our uh, next waypoint. And as we go through Winchburg, you will see the weather change again. You'll see it change effectively twice over the course of a few minutes. On its well, basically, it's on its, it's as I say, it's, it's on its way to a midway point and then back down to the uh, the default weather, which is a bright sunny day. In there, right. So again, because the weather changes are a little bit, uh, in fact, they're very very short times, just to make them more obvious in the demo. Um, you're going to see the fog change quite rapidly, like that. Now we can see the skies again. It's also getting a bit lighter. It's definitely getting lighter now. And there's less rain on the windows. The windows definitely aren't uh, getting as uh, as filled with raindrops as they were previously. So there's a, there's a, there is a scenario, it's called the airline on Western Lines of Scotland, which basically features this a very similar sort of approach to this. You see we've got full brightness back pretty much now on the route. The skies are definitely getting a lot clearer and the raindrops are I won't say non-existent but they're uh, they're almost gone. If we just drive on for a little bit longer we'll see that sky, uh, the sky clear up even more. So yeah, sorry, the airline on Western Lines of Scotland is um, it's one of the scenarios. It's a relatively short scenario, it's only about half an hour long, um, and it features you driving from the uh, junction that leads to air uh, into Stranra uh, and then um, pulling the coaches back out. Um, and the, uh, during that time, it goes pretty much a similar sequence to this. So you end up with uh, you start off in a bright, uh, bright sunny day, the weather withdraws in and then uh, by the time you finish the scenario it's cleared up again it makes for a really nice uh, uh, added ele extra element to the uh, the experience if not the gameplay so the sky cloud change is considerably longer uh, the actual fade out is set to around about three minutes for the final fade out 
but as you can see those clouds are definitely withdrawing you'll probably see it more obviously if you run it in fast forward <laughs> Linlithgow is our uh, stopping point for this particular demo. Now some of those changes were very sudden. Um, and even the ones that were relatively easy could be do with being um, taking longer times but uh, if you read the tutorial it covers all of the different blending times and what they all mean and how you can use them to affect it uh, and you should be able to get great effects that look very realistic I'll stop the light now I don't really need that too much So as you can see the sky is uh, its almost completely blue now, there's a little bit of cloud towards the bottom but uh, with some more time that will get even clearer. basically cleared up now. So there we went from this to uh, the darkest of a horrible uh, foggy thunderstorm and back again. Impossible, impossibly quickly, but uh, that's it. That was the point of the demo. I hope that's been useful. Um, the uh, details of the of how this was all done are on the blog, trainsinlive.blogspot.co.uk and uh, I look forward to seeing you on the uh, stream on uh, Twitch, twitch.tv forward slash Matt Peddlesden. Um, you can find obviously all the other videos on YouTube and you can also find me on Facebook and Twitter. Okay, lovely. If you've got any questions, please do ask them in the comments or on the blog and uh, I will see you uh, on Twitch. Goodbye.